Today, we're going to be looking at five affordable display tablets to help you get started with digital art. For art-related tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post videos every Friday. If this is your first time seeing me, I am digital artist Brian Hampshire. I've been drawing digitally for about five years and throughout my digital career, uh, I've done several commissions. So as you can imagine, I've had my fair share of tablets. So let's get right into it. And this is not ranked from worst to best. So coming in at number five, we have XP Pen Artist 12. It has a 11.6 inch screen. It has a battery free pen. Um, comes with a glove. Most uh, Wacom alternatives, they come with a glove. And it has 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity. And this one is coming in at $249.99, so $250. And I actually have this tablet. It used to be my traveling tablet. And my thoughts on it is, it's a bit small, but it is perfect for traveling. It can fit in laptop bags, book bags, very easy. Now, if you do buy this tablet, I recommend getting a some type of uh, screen protector or something that can put some, some type of friction on that uh, screen because it is a bit slick. Now, if, if you like it, if you, you know, some people, some artists like drawing on slick surfaces. I don't. I like uh, a surface with a little bit of tooth on there, so it kind of feels like paper. So, you know, if you get this, make sure that you pick you up a uh, some type of screen protector that's going to allow some type of uh, grain or tooth on it. Now, number four is the Julian Canvas Pro 12. This one also comes with a battery free pen. And this one comes with a stand. The pen also has 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity. The pen also supports tilt function. Now this is good. This is good to have tilt function on your pen. So way you know you can tilt it and it still reads it and this one has uh express keys um, the other one had the xp pen it had ex express keys too i don't you know i don't really use it maybe you want to use it or whatever but it it has express keys but it has a uh middle uh scroll bar it's probably for zoom in, zoom out, but you know, you can customize it any way you want to. And it is coming in at 269. Now coming in at number three, it's gonna be Julian again with their Canvas Pro 13. And this is gonna be an upgrade on your screen. So instead of an 11 inch screen, they have a 13.3 inch screen. The pen also supports tilt functionality, battery free stylus, of course your standard uh, 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity on that pen. It also comes with a stand, which is good, um, express keys, and this one is coming in at 285. Which tablets have you been looking at so far? Let me know in the comments below. Coming in at number two, is the Artisol D16. This one is a 15 inch screen, 15.6 to be exact. It has the standard 8,192 levels of pressure sensitivity on the pen. Looks like it comes with a stand, extra pen nibs, shortcut keys, and instead of a scroll, it has a dial. I think I like the dial better. But this one is coming in at 289. 
And last but not least is going to be the 2019 Julian Canvas 16. This is a 15 inch screen. Um, it has tilt functionality on your stylus. And you have your standard 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity. Uh, looks like it comes with uh, the express keys. It has uh, two dials on it. Okay. So it has two dials on it plus the express keys, 14 of them, and one touch bar. And this one is coming in right under $300. $299. If you are new to the digital art realm, I compiled a free guide to help you get started with digital art. Um, it's going to save you time and money. It's going to be right down there in the description below. Remember, it's a free guide. So make sure you pick that up. I hope you got some type of value out of this video today. Don't forget to hit that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. And as always, I'll holler at you guys next time. Believe it.